Hey YouTube, John Gray 1990 here with my review and reading of One Piece Chapter 1072. I have already read this, sadly it was spoiled, but I figured I'd reread it again with you and break it down. So, Miss Buckingham Stussy. When I saw this title, I thought we were going to get a lot more background. We sadly don't. We get some action, which I'll get to, which is awesome. But this cover page, oh my god, like this story. German 66, Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 29, awarded the IBO Peace Prize for developing the GP flower. A flower that blooms in gunpowder. Literally, it looks like a flower that's coming essentially of two tanks shooting essentially and flowers coming out with, instead of gunpowder or instead of like rockets or something. And so I like this story or this look because we see essentially a younger Vegapunk and he has got this evil, devilish smile that even the other three, Caesar, Queen, and Judge, are just like terrified. And then his eyebrows are up here. It's like this, yeah, ha, ha, ha. So I love it. I think it's awesome. Going directly into where Simply Stussy is going after Rab Lucci, aka Rab Gucci. Kaku, this is a bitter pill to swallow. Paper arts, heartbreak, afterage. Lucci goes for a stab. She's already gone. So when you don't understand, your first instinct is to go for the kill. My, my, my. Her lipstick literally is sea stone. You're so wild. She literally sinks her teeth in him as she stabs him with the sea stone. Like, that's brutal. Nice to see it, Rob Lucci. Just saying, like, this guy betrayed. Major betrayal. I mean, he was deep undercover. Essentially went after Frankie's adopted brother. Like, that to me is this perfect betrayal. Kaku! You bitch. Excuse my language. I know how strong you boys are. Fighting you fair and square would have been stupid. Forgive me. She is not wrong. I mean, yeah, he lost to Luffy multiple times, even when he awakened. But the fact that, I mean, he, I said I would put him at slightly above first division commanders. Wow. Just a moment. What is this? Why are the CPs your agents at each other's? Of the Zoro kind of just there standing, evaluating, friendly fire. Huh? And I was right. Stussy was the person that Vegapunk essentially was calling and said, Hey, would you mind betraying and help us? And so I love that. Yeah, it would be nice if there was a more other person, but this to me is good. I mean, literally, it's yes, Stussy is actually working with the Vegapunks. It's not a four, but with them. This is Stussy. I put them both to split. That's fantastic news. Stussy came through. York, pull it together. Yawn. Usopp, what's going on? I'm confused. Rob Lucci was beaten? No doubt he was taken by surprise. Her loyalty to me was kept a secret even after she spent 20 years as one of their agents. You had a mole in the intelligence branch. Like, that's big. It wasn't our intention, but that's how it turned out. I have to wonder about this. So maybe essentially she started working for the government and then she became a CP0 agent or... She started off as kind of like a pleasure person and then they got recruited by the government. I'm very curious. I'd be very curious to see how that kind of plays out. What happened there? Doctor, unfortunately, my authority level is the same as Lucci's, so I cannot override his orders and stop the circum. I thought that was good. It was like, hey, she's not a tear, and so you still have to kind of come down and stop him, which I was like, okay, fair point. You've done plenty, Stussy. We're on our way. Pythagoras, we need to stop those runs before they flatten the others. Right. And is it just me or do these kids look familiar? I know, especially that one. He's going after the Zoro one. Sorry, the Mihawk one. Zoro going after the Mihawk one. Ooh, they won't stop blowing holes in lab, though I suppose we can use these extra exits to get out faster. And I'm out. Hey, Seraphim, listen. Seraphim Zoro's like, uh uh. Sorry, Mihawk's like, uh uh. He goes straight for Lilith. And Zoro blocks Seraphim Mihawk. I like that he said this, though. Wow, now that I have a closer look, there actually is a spark community in there. Still, what the heck are you? I like the fact that he sees there's some hint of humanity. That was a shock. Leave it to me, Pythagoras. Seraphim, quit it. Stop fighting immediately. Edison, no, he can't be. 
Hmm, you're looking for this? All of a sudden, you just go like, I got him! I got him by the head. Edison, the seraphon have finally listened. Can someone tell me what these things are? Shaka, I bound Luchi and Kaku with Sea Star. I like the fact that Zoro really doesn't hold on because he missed the whole explanation because he was at the ship. Much obliged, Juicy. We're leaving the island. You should come with us. Understood. Hey, you can't keep adding people. Bonnie, where are you, old man? Punk, clean with you, leave without you. The fact that Bonnie and essentially Vega Punk really have let, vanished, I think essentially they're in his memories, and so maybe their physical bodies disappear or something. Unfortunately, a truly unexpected result would have Dr. Vega Punk's main body cell has vanished. I think they're not going to be essentially right as they're trying to leave. That's when the government ships will show up. I do like that this chapter is packed full of information. I mean, we switched literally right to Sphinx North. I would say, to me, this part is one main part, this first section. Because literally, it's Stussy attacks them. They switch just briefly to the people in the lab. And then back to essentially everything going on. You could argue too. I would say this is one. And then we switch over to literally uh, Sphinx, Whitebeard's home. Now, I thought this was a very good one. It was so scary. Not for me. I wasn't scared. The remains all over the place. I'm real sorry, kids, yo. I didn't mean to leave you in such a bad spot. It's not your fault, Marco. Those Marines were, Marines were the worst. They said they were here for Whitebeard's servers. They were just like pirates. If you play nice, you won't get hurt, okay? This dude, literally the weasel dude, reminds me of the weasel dude essentially from the Guinea chapters. That essentially Luffy and the others beat up. And Ami beat up. Because it essentially was on her island. Remember this place isn't government affiliated. You have no legal rights here. Kiahaha. Whitebeard must have kept all his treasure here. If you don't tell us, we'll consider an act of defiance. I could shoot you all one by one. If you think that'll make you more talkative. The, there's no treasure here. Stop pointing the gun at my little brother. You really aren't, won't treat us as fellow humans just because we can't pay the government? You monsters. Are you sure it's wise to act tough for Marco? It's not around. Hold, hold her still. Yeah, stop it, please. Stop this. Granny! Steady. Please stop. She just normally granny. Hands off. I love that we woke him. I did not expect this, but he's not. He's still the bad guy, but it's more like I'm going to protect my pop. What he, who he thinks is his pop. Island. Stay away from Pappy's home. Captain Retton. It's White Beard Weevil. Warships were meant to hunt down the worlds. Now they're disbanded. We lost all contact with the squad. He got them all. What strength. He's a bona fide monster. Get back to the ship. We need to wait for backup. This is Sphinx. An ex warlord just showed up. It's Weevil requesting me assistance. If that big guy hadn't shown up, the whole village would be toast. What a hero. I'm glad you're all safe. Yo. That wasn't the end of it, Marco. Who do you think they sent in after the call for backup? None other than Admiral Ryukyogyo. The guy who ran with his tail as soon as he felt Shanks' hockey talkie But he's still an Admiral. They've taken my sweet weevil away. Give me my beloved son back. And why are it? Forgo and Newgate's inheritance, too. Former member of Rock's Pirate, self-proclaimed scientist, Mads, resident freeloader, Miss Buckin, Buckingham Stussy, officially confirmed. A lot of people are like, well, Miss Buckin may not be Buckingham Stussy. Oh, yes, she is. I like the fact that they say freeloader. So she was there, but she probably didn't necessarily offer a lot. So she probably has kind of milk it off them and kind of took some of their ideas. Weebo, mama. Sent to prison for protecting his father's village. Isn't this trash? And Jack, don't you think one our boy has a noble soul? Well, I appreciate you guys protecting this place, at least yo. Marco, I can hear in your tones. You still doubt he's Whitebeards. Well, I know someone who can prove it. Dr. Vega Punk. The fact that she says Dr. Vega Punk can prove it makes me think it's more he is a clone with Whitebeard's DNA. The chapter's not over. I mean, so that's part two, and then part three essentially is this part. Well, I would say there's two parts within the Weevil section, which essentially you have Weevil shows up, attacks them, and then you also have the fact where, you know, Mark was there after it happened. You could argue one, two, three. I would say two because literally it's the main part of the way. current timeline and the past. Let's 
call it three just to be safe. So essentially there's two parts here. This is part, so we have part original one, we have part two, the present, three the past, so four part. There's three parts in this, this section. And then we have final, which is essentially we have Kizar and one of the girls say. So I would say five parts total which still to me is really good. And the fact we had some really good action. So going ahead, we have Kizaru. We prepared snacks and tea for our guests. So I'm sure you remember test poison or of course. I like the fact that they're testing poison because like, hey, these are the, this is one of the girls say, people do want to kill him because they blame him for a lot of stuff the government has done. He's directly part of it. So have you ever met Dr. Vagapunt before? Once, a long time ago. I think that's what's happening now. It's truly a shame. Highest authority in the world, one of the five elders, St. Jai Garcia Saturn. Finally get one of their names. Uh, as most people, I thought we would just call him like Scar Dude. So I like the fact that we're giving his name. One of the big wigs finally makes a move. I say Saturn refers to essentially unrelated musicians, Jerry Garcia. So essentially this is where this guy's essentially image came from. Oda kind of copied this design essentially from Jerry Garcia, the musician, and then put it for him. So, five parts. So, some of you know I liked the last chapter, but I still thought there was parts missing. I loved this one a lot. 1073 had good action, not only just with the Sarah from Little Zoro, a little with uh, Stussy, and then with Weevil essentially going after the rat dude and then kind of being taken away. So, part wise, I would say essentially so we have pacing, character, story. Pacing, I say give it a five out of five. I think the fact you could argue essentially there's either three main parts or five, I think is really good. It's broken and main. We we understand we understand exactly what's happening, where it's going. Boom. Character. Doctor Vega I mean, the beginning essentially of the chapter, we see kind of more to his character design, and then the Vega Punks individually, specifically, essentially we see. Shaka, Pythagoras, and Lilith. Pythagoras essentially is, and Lilith are on the way to give orders. And then essentially Shaka's talking about how essentially Stussy originally has worked for them for the last 20 years and it kind of unintentionally happened that she worked for the government. Perfect. That would be the Vega Punks for me for character. Then you have Zoro for me, essentially the fact that he's seen the Sarah from kind of really in an action. He fights the Mihawk one a little. And in Saji, the fact that he saves Pythagoras. I thought that was good for character moments. And then Stussy, definitely the fact that she works for Shaka. She doesn't have the same authority higher than Lucia. And the fact that she put them cuffs. Impressive. Impressive. And then Weevil for the fact that he saved Whitebeard's Island. I mean, he wasn't there just to take the Trevor. He actually was there up a little to save the people. Marco did a little, but I don't want to give him because really he's just he's talking about what happened. Miss Buckin, I will give her character because I think she, the fact that, you know, we see her full name, Buckingham Stussy. And she talks about how the fact that Dr. Vegapunk is the one who can verify Weevil's heritage. And then we have Kizaru, the fact that he's got the ships, he's showing up, and St. Jai Garcia Saturn. I mean, we finally get this guy's name, so it's not just one of the five cores anymore. He's St. J. Garcia Saturn. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. So, Character-wise, I say five out of five. I'm going to give this all probably more likely to get out of fifteen out of fifteen. I loved it. I thought there was a lot to it. Story-wise, seeing Vegapunk in his younger years, boom. I mean, we're seeing more kind of how he was just as evil, if not inventions, as the other people were. Sticking with that, Stussy essentially was a freeloader of that we see talked about, and then Stussy essentially. Talking about how she does not have the same, she has the same order as Lucci and the rest. So to me, that tells her because we say, okay, she's not greater or less than. They're on the same level. And the fact that she initially 
did not intend to get involved with the government, but she did. The fact that Zoro is fighting Mihawk version of Serum, and we see that he's like, there is some humanity left. So I think there's going to be some choices that Fear will make that they may actually be able to disobey some of their orders if they truly believe it's wrong. That, I think, will lead to some very good moments. The fact that the real Vegapunk is missing right now, and Flu is Bonnie, I think that's going to have some major implications of story later on. Weevil saving Whitebeard's Island and then being captured by Rikugio, you know, I think is going to have systems leader either going to rescue him or the government's going to do some experiments on him. And so with that, Stussy, the real one, or the... The original human essentially is going to kind of go into maybe some backstories and stuff that happened and why he's actually Whitebeard's son. Because she physically didn't just clone, she took his DNA and hers and then created. Isn't that just a clone clone? I could see that. And then the fact that we get one of the admirals on his way to Egghead. Wild. This has been Jolly Green. 1990s review. So once again, 15 out of 15. I love this chapter. One Piece sends a new three. Please let me know your thoughts, comments. Feel free to subscribe. If you leave a like, if you leave a dislike, please leave a comment. This is Joe Green signing out. Bye, YouTube.